Okay, um, why is O2 uh, paramagnetic? So for oxygen, um, our, um, our MO diagram is going to be the overlap between two oxygen atoms. So there's our 2P and our 2S. So this is one oxygen atom. And um, here is our other oxygen atom. So we're going to get uh, sigma, sigma star. And in this case, we get sigma pi, 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 sigma. Okay, so we get a sigma, sigma star, sigma pi, pi star, sigma. So this is the ordering of the levels for oxygen. Um, it's good to remember that for oxygen and fluorine, this is what it looks like. But before oxygen, we actually flip um, the pi and the sigma levels. So it would be these two down here would be flipped uh, for carbon and nitrogen. Um, but we don't need to, to worry about that here because we're dealing with oxygen. So each oxygen atom has uh, six valence. Okay. And so we can just take these 12 valence electrons and fill them in. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. Okay. And so our bond order for oxygen is our number of bonding minus our number of antibonding. And this isn't really relevant to the question, but I'm doing it anyway. Um, so our bonding is two, four, six, eight. And our antibonding is two, three, four. Um, and this is all over two. Uh, which is equal to 4 over 2, which equals 2. So it's a double bond for oxygen, as we already know. So that's good. Um, but for the question, uh, why is it paramagnetic? All we actually need to see are these electrons here. And so because we have unpaired electron spins, that means we've got a paramagnetic molecule. Um, and that's all that matters. So if the spins are unpaired, then it's paramagnetic. If the spins are paired, then it's diamagnetic. So in this case, we have an unpaired spin there, and so it's uh, paramagnetic. Um, and so this is not true. Um, diamagnets have a bond order of zero, um, which is not true. Um, in fact, in a question I just did for C2, 2 minus, that is diamagnetic and the bond order was three. Um, so that's just false. Um, um, that's uh, all uh, electron spins paired, paramagnets have unpaired. Is paramagnetic due to the uh, unpaired um, pi star electrons. Um, <clears throat> the presence of unpaired electrons at antibonding pi orbital results in non thus a paramagnetic molecule. So it is correct that it's due to the unpaired electrons but that isn't what results in the non-zero bond order. Okay, so I'm just gonna say it's incorrect just because